Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with Tactics 5 Obsidian Brigade. We started our adventure off up. Of, well, let's let's recap a little bit better than that. We started off our adventure here ish, and then we went like over here, then we went over this way, and then down here, and then. Anyway, we went to a whole bunch of different stuff. We ended up going over here somewhere, and we teleported our way all the way over here, and then we came over this way. People died. Stuff is happening. Things are... They're, they're, they're being things. Things are being things, and there's nothing else to really say other than things are being things. Now, I want to look at the roster, and I'm going to show you guys some cool stuff here coming up real, real soon. So... We're going to wait until we get into battle, but I want you guys to keep your eyes open and your minds open as well. Why? Why do you have this on? You know what? It's fine. Anyway, I believe we're all we're all set up and ready to go. Um, I'm not sure where I wanted to head. Like, we did all this stuff, right? We did all the things that we had to do. Um... The only options we really have are places like Vordancia. I'm going to guess I'm saying that completely wrong because that's kind of how I do things. And then maybe you look, you look, you luck, you lucked out. I don't know. So I, I don't really know where the best place for us to go right now is. I know we kind of went and we did all this stuff and we finished that up. Uh, I don't know if there's a reason to go to the road, or if we should just go elsewhere. Uh, do we currently have a mission objective or anything of that nature? I don't think so. So I'm going to go to the road just to see. I mean, we might get into a battle, we might not. Close it. We're going to go... I guess we can go back down to our hideout and see if anything's going on down there. We have to cross over a few places which may throw us into a battle, and it looks like indeed it did. Alright, so you guys saw the map. And how many people do we get to employ? We got six here, which is nice. Alright, so we're gonna get Durin up on okay, we're gonna move Durin up here. We're gonna bring oh, what the heck was that? Did you guys see what just that was weird? We're gonna move Gwen up here. I don't. I don't know what that was. Very strange. Uh, Robert is gonna be there. We're gonna have. That's a weird glitch. That is a really strange glitch. I don't. Hieroglyphics, guys and gals. They're trying to tell us something. Illuminati confirmed. I think. I think that's what that's all about. That's that's a very weird glitch. Well, you know what? I don't mind. I don't mind. Does it, does it take away from anything? No, it's just a weird little random thing that's happening. Alright, so fire for our boy. I don't... Poison, I guess, for our other boy. Alright, anyway, we're gonna deploy. Let's get in here and get the battle going and see what's up. Because, like I said, I got some cool things I want to show you guys. I can't wait. Alright. Ooh, we up against a big old bear. A big old bear. I think it's gonna be fine. All right, kill all enemies. There's only one enemy that needs to be killed. I th well, actually, there may be more. All right, so what I would like to do is go here. Let's see what happens if we turn off the noisy terrain. Terrain is simple. It doesn't have all the extra lines and stuff in there, right? So, let's go to strategic view. All right, so let's see what that looks like again. Terrain noisy... Rain symbol. Doesn't really look like it changed too much, but we got another cool thing to show you guys. Standard dither or smooth rendering. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, would you look at that, guys and gals? It looks all fancy, shiny, and new. And again, there's going to be people who prefer the other art, art style, and there's going to be people who are absolutely over the moon that the art style has changed to this, or the rendering has changed. It looks cleaner. It looks nicer. It's smoother. Uh, oftentimes, when you get when you get something going on like this, uh, I don't remember what, but there it is. When you get smoothly a smooth rendering and stuff like this from something that's a bit more pixelated, it gets real blurry. I, I'm not noticing a lot of blur, 
So really well done. And um, yeah, I told the developer next time when I hopped in and decided to play this, I was going to show this off. And I, I, I'm kind of blown away. It looks like even better than I thought it was going to look. So that's really cool. Really, 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 really cool. Um, I'm going to say... We're going to go ahead and we're going to get powerlessness thrown up into our weapon. Alright. Robert is able to maneuver. I'm going to put him over here. Uh, oop, I am going to go with a little bit of a further away look. Archery technique. You know we're getting that triple shot up in this place. And a foomp. There it is. 240. Holy crap on a cracker, buddy. Look at, look at Robert just doing what Robert do. Now again, we do have a small issue with good old Bernie here. Bernie is a temperature wizard. Temperature wizards, as it says right there on our screen on the left-hand side, his eyes are terrifying in this this new uh, rendering. Um, is strength-based, so there's a very low chance he's actually going to hit people. But we do happen to have a fire stick, or fire staff, as it were. So he's going to be more likely to land fire attacks as opposed to ice spells. Probably still not... Oh, we're actually really going to hit him. That's kind of amazing. Like, really hard, too. Hmm. Alright, the bear's coming up. He's going to want to go and do some long division or something. That's cool. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hang out next to this bear. And I'm going to be like, hey, you know what? I cast spells, too. And you know what I think? I think a fire orb is not going to do much. However, what I also think is that a lightning strike is going to hurt. And it is, because we're about to cast it. Give us our... Game looks really good this way. Like, I didn't mind the other way. I thought it was fine. It was a unique art style that not a lot of people went with. And I you know, I was totally cool with that. But yeah, I, I have to say, I'm, I'm kind of blown away with how this actually looks now. Like, it's, it's way, way better than I thought it was going to be. You know what? I kind of want to undo my movement. Because I think I can jump to the, to the guy over here. Yeah. Let's get in there and uh, do some damage to the big boy. I don't know how long it's going to take us, but we, we're going to try it. I'm going to slapify you with my just regular basic attack. Ha! 40 damage. Go ahead, counter. I dare you. I right, see, I knew I was gonna block. I had your number, friend. Poor Gwen. Gwen is just like got put in the worst scenario. Wee! Jump strike. This comes out. Oh, that counter, but we dodged it. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not a big deal. Another 40 damage coming out there. Frithwee's fine. And here. Oh. Is that fire orb going to come at any point? Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Here it comes. Boop. Dead. Only did 12 damage at that particular moment. Here comes the lightning. It's about to strike. This is 106 damage done. I'm going to say good day to you, sir. Oop. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. Actually, yeah, that's... Nah, let's, what about a uh, through strike? 94, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Boop! Gown. Mm-hmm. So, this is available, I believe, on all Xbox, uh, PlayStation. I believe it was on Xbox, PlayStation. It's on PC. Now, there is a disclaimer, though, for the Switch. So, if you guys wanted to see this on the Switch, it will give you some performance issues as far as there's a bit more lag. Uh, I don't know if he's implemented it on Switch yet or if he's going to skip it altogether. But uh, my suggestion was to have like a pop-up that lets you guys know. Switch's hardware is just not as strong as a lot of the other hardware out there. I mean, it's it's obvious, right? I mean, how could it possibly be? So, just something to be aware of. Uh, a lot of folks know they play games like, what, like Dark Souls Remastered or whatever on their Switch. And that's a, it's a rough time. From what I'm to understand, so take from that what you will. Got some poison out there, a couple of quick and easy attacks. 
Uh, I'm gonna hit him with another fire orb. This time it's not a basic one. And now we're just gonna end the turn right there. Stay within melee range. Gwen's gonna be over here, and Gwen's like, you know what? I, I mean, I could attack. It would be kind of pointless because I can't really do anything. I'm gonna weaken some fools. How do you expect to get through this? Exactly. So even if you do manage to somehow attack, which, again, you're not going to, uh, you're going to have a bad day. You're going to have a bad day of it. All right, we're going to go triple shot. Is that going to kill it? It is not. Floomp. You done got shot in your booty. Here comes the auto meditation and a fire, and we said good day. Down go the triple bears. We're feeling really good about ourselves right here. It's good. Looks really nice. So kudos and a shout out to the developer for uh, deciding to to give this uh, a chance because he always envisioned or you know felt like the game should have been rendered the way it was originally released and he didn't want to bend on that and he didn't bend on it but he started playing around with it and I think uh, just through like I'm sure you can ask his story maybe he'll share it down in the comment section but I think it was something along the lines of I can't remember exactly but like he was playing around with it and he's like you know what it actually looks kind of good. Game looks better than I thought it would this way. I'll give it as an option, and he just kind of went with it. Cause I think he was like play testing it or something, just messing around, and then he's like, "Wow, this, this is actually not bad." The eyes are horrifying, though. I'm not gonna lie, like those are nightmare-inducing eyes right now. That's the one thing. Like I'm gonna have a hard time sleeping tonight because those eyes are gonna be watching me while I sleep. But that's okay. It's okay. It's worth it for my craft. It's worth it for my craft. All right, so we got through that relatively easy. Now look at how nice and beautiful the map looks too. Like I said, it's a different effect, a different way of doing things, and honestly, both of them have their their advantages. This has a more old school, you know, definitely a pixelated look, and that was the look he was going for. So like I said, it's not like oh, well, this is just so much better. Like uh, he improved the game. He just went with a different choice. And it's really up to the individual to decide which one they like more. A lot of people, the way the visuals looked was a, a turnoff point for them. So if you guys happen to still be watching it, you never enjoyed the graphics, but you kind of liked the game up to this point, now you don't have an excuse. Now the graphics look amazing. Or more traditional, I guess would be the better word to say. And now, you again, you can go and play the game and enjoy it and not have the, the artistic choice detract from your experience. So... Just saying, I'm just saying, like, it's good stuff's going on over here. All right, we're going to go try the Outfitter. I can only assume that there's not going to be better equipment here. I'm totally wrong. Oh, oh, how expensive is that? That has to be absurdly expensive. I don't, I don't know what we had before. Oh, we had the pole arm before. We can't have... We can't have a steel great axe, no matter how much I want to have one. I need a steel spear. That's expensive. I, I don't think we have that much money, do we? Oh, we do. We absolutely do have that much money. Oh my god, look how cool Durin looks! He looks so cool! Oh my god, yes! You know, forget the rest of you guys. I, I, I'm. This is all I need right here. Um, I suppose I should probably check some more. And so, uh, no, can, can I equip optimal? No. I guess I have to buy all. Because it doesn't look like I can go back in. From that specific spot. Alright. So, I'm... Who, who do we need? We need Frithwi to be a little bit stronger moving forward here. I still like the idea of Frithwee having like a big old two-handed weapon as opposed to what he's using right now, but it's alright. We're going to equip optimal. Oh, we can have two vile daggers? How is that a th thing? Did I get another vile dagger that I was unaware of? Is it duplicating something? Hold on. What? Oh boy. There are some issues. There are some issues here with that. I mean, you just move and it fixes it, but still. Equip optimal. Just nothing changes.
All right, well, let's try Robert then. A recurve bow. Okay, well, that's good. There's something there for us. All right, so what did we have before? I'm assuming we had the bronze bow or the iron bows. We must have known what we had before. Maybe it was the bronze. No, I think it was a bronze. Range of 4, penetration of 3, damage of 10. Range of 4, penetration of 5, damage of 20. It's basically double. Sorry. Uh, yeah, basically double. I'll take it. Alright, what else we got? Let's check out Bernard. What can we do for you, buddy? Can we equip Optimal with you? The Dark Affinity Staff. I don't know that that's necessarily what we need. I, like, as cool as it is to have these additional Affinity Staves or Staves, I, I'm a little bit turned off by them. And the reason being is they do tend to limit what you can cast. So it has to be dark spells, fire spells, water spells. Uh, I feel like I'm just going to go with the steel staff for right now. We're just going to go with that. We're going to see how that plays. And I don't care about Toke. Uh, I don't really care about you either. I guess Gwen needs to get some love. As much as I don't want to give Gwen some... I need to change Gwen's everything. So this is kind of like a just a bad choice in general. Um, right arm, reset slot. Right arm, or left arm, reset slot. Now, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I'm okay with getting this part of it. Let's go ahead and close this out. It's going to be expensive, but I think that's fine. We need to play around with... Uh, Gwen's gear though. I don't think she's at a spot or maybe with her skills. They look really cool. They look really really cool um, Durin has so much HP now 226. It's kind of absurd. I love it though. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna change your class yet I think we're fine being the Legionnaire for a little bit longer. Let's go take a I don't want to change class, sorry. Uh, I wanted to look at... Learn powers, probably? Impact Strike. A uh, fantastical leaping attack resulting in a larger area of effect. This action does not happen immediately, though. Okay. We have Jump Strike, Jump Strike 2, Jump Strike 3. And Impact Strike, which seems to be the strongest. Alright, we're going to get that one. Oh, we don't have enough, sorry. SP's only 471. Alright. Robert is still learning what he's learning on the rogue side of things. Learn powers. I'm not real sure how far down the line I want to go with this. He's got 406. I mean, paralysis, I guess, is okay. Is there a reason to go and get anything else? Maybe like a skill? Like, the backstab isn't going to work unless you have a sword or a dagger, so that's kind of out. Imbued effect, the improved backstab again, not something I need. Light armor, I th think we already have that with his uh, archery skills. Steel, I don't really want either. Uh, did we get the extra slot already? I think we did, right? Yeah, we did. I don't really see a reason to stick around on this then. I think we're going to change his class. We're probably going to put him back to an archer. And then we're going to equip optimal again. And, yeah, it's probably fine-ish. Okay, and then... I just want to check. It's medium armor. So medium armor versus light armor. Okay. I'm going to go to Gwen. And I think Gwen has learned everything. Like, there's not much in the way of powers for the defender. And there's not much left. She's actually just short of getting the two-handed club proficiency to master it. And again, there's no reason to master it, but I want to, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick it out until I get it. Uh, Frithwi, you're currently a rogue, and I guess that's fine. You mastered all this stuff, imbue effect, improved critical. I want that. We have a tremendous amount of experience just sitting around, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And what did it say to do? Remember to. 
do something. So we need to skill slot it in, I think. Improve backstab, two weapon fighting backstab, efficiency, imbue, effect. These are all bonus and those other ones are assigned. So I kind of need to get another one. I need to get another thing, like... I guess I don't necessarily need medium armor. Improved critical? Eh, improved critical can wait, I suppose. Alright, what else we got? What else we got? We got to uh, learn some powers here. We got the cripple, exceptional cri cripple. Uh, greater cripple. 500 points. Greater sleeps, 400 points. So we have all the basic stuff. I don't know if there's a reason to really stick around as the, the thief, but I, I kind of like the, or the rogue. I kind of like how the rogue plays, though. It's interesting. We're going to go with exceptional sleep. Maybe we can just knock somebody out for like a million years. He'll use up all of our action points, and once he imbues the weapon, it's probably going to take him like 27 turns before he can actually do something, but eh. You never know. All right, learn skills. Everything is learned except for staff proficiency. Learn powers. We still have a bit to learn here. And what about... Oops. Mission. Change class. Have we unlocked the druid yet? We have not. You know, the developers told me many times what I need for the druid, and I just, for whatever reason, never remember. I could have sworn the last thing he told me was I just need to stick with the healer for a little bit longer and then um, we'll have it. So, we'll see. We'll see. We're getting close to it. And then Bernie. Probably should change class away from the temperature wizard. But before we do that, let's learn skills. Gotta get that extra slot. And I guess instant concentration is pretty impressive. Maybe we're going to go with that one. Alright, let's see if we can't set another skill slot in here. Uh, throw rock? Well, don't need that one. Alright, well, I just guess we're going to hold off on it. Alright, so... With that, I believe all of our characters are ready to go, and... I guess we'll go back to Riboon. We might have a battle. Yeah. So we might run into a battle here and there, because, again, we're traversing places that have random battles. Which is totally fine. Uh, six people can uh, be deployed. Alright. So we're gonna go there. Oh boy. Um, what? Oh, they look so cool. Oh, I, I love the way they look. It's awesome. Frithwi, we're gonna have Robert. We're gonna have Eshin. And we're gonna have Gold Bernie. Alright. Let's do this thing. I think we can get this battle won and then be on our way. So I'm going to try on the weekend to play more games that are similar to this. That's That's been something I've been wanting to do for quite some time. And I think I'm finally going to do that. I'm going to start recording ahead of time, get some stuff, you know, basically in the bank, so to speak. And that way when the weekend rolls around, like say Saturday, I'll do like this. We'll play a little bit of, I don't know, like Age of Fear. And then we'll throw some Fell Seal in there and then that'll be... That'll be that, that Saturday. And the following Saturday, maybe we'll throw this, and we'll throw Valnerian Tactics 2, and the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics in there. And we'll just kind of kind of mix a few of them in there, but maybe we'll just stick with uh, one or three games, and we'll just play through that all the way through. Or maybe we'll keep one of them, and then we'll cycle the other two. I don't know. We'll see. But I, I've been wanting to get back to these type of games on a more regular basis and that's kind of where I'm at and that's where my mindset is and that's what I want to do all right what are we up against over here we are up against a club boy we're up against four archers okay well that is a large amount of archerians um I suppose I'll move over oh this is Robert okay sorry I thought it was Frithwi um yeah, I guess I'm going to move here and just kind of end my turn. Oh, end my turn. Face that way. There we go. Go ahead and get your auto meditation on. You're going to go get some PP yourself. You're going to step forward and imbuing some effects up on your business there. All right. 
Get on over there, buddy. Imbue. Let's go with exceptional sleep. Let's just see how many centuries it takes for that to get imbued on our weapon. Also, somehow we did end up with two of the vile fangs as our weapons. So the outfitter looks like it duplicated one of my items on accident. So that's a thing that happened. It wasn't intentional, but it did seem to happen. We're still using our strength-based wizard, which, again, not really ideal, but it is what it is. That guy in the back seems to have less resistances to us. So we're going to go ahead and hit him with some, some knowledge. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot that we can do. I'm going to see. I think I can do a jump strike. Oh, I totally can. So I think I can do a jump strike just to get around, but I can also hit them from like a billion miles away, so that's good. All right, and then Eshin's gonna move forward. I'm not real sure what the plan is with Eshin, but no, we're probably gonna meditate a little bit. Then we're gonna auto meditate up on top of the meditation. And then Gwen, poor, poor, slow, slow Gwen. We're gonna go with defensive technique. We're gonna bolster our boys and girls. And there it is, SP just got capped. Jump strike flying on in from downtown. I believe a fireball should be making its rounds here soon enough as well. I'm going to come over here. I am going to archery technique my way to victory. This is going to leave a little bit of uh, damage up on your booty. You're going to counter me and put me to sleep? That's that's probably not good. It's alright. Robert's fine. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to hit me? You, you, well, you were going to try. Fire strike! Didn't we have a 100% chance to hit him? How did we... Did we hit a tree or something in front of us? Full disclosure, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's very possible something blocked my shot, but I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Like, I know there's a, there's a tree right next to me, but I feel like we're fine. Like, that should not have done anything. Basic spell... Lightning strike. Well, I'm not going to miss this one. This guy is donezo. Unless he heals. But he ain't going to get no chance to heal, I don't think. Durin. Uh, I think we're going to go through strike here. Yep. Boop. Surprise. Oh, you tried to counter me while I was looking away from you? See, I didn't even need to see you swing on me. I just dodged it like a boss. And I blocked it. Look at that. Just quick turn around. And a stab to your belly button. Mm hmm. Belly button stab. What are you going to do about it? This guy's like right up in, in our business. What is he doing? Oh, really, dude? You... Oh, you're going to die, Harry. So, you know, that that's a thing that's happening. We'll try to get Frithwee into a position to actually do something. I cannot guarantee it. Bernie, um. All right, what do you got for me? You got a um, fire spell, fire orb up on this guy? Yeah, let's do that one. That sounds good. All right, and Gwen. I'm not real sure what we're going to do with you. But you are here, and that's all that really matters. I call upon the force of the sky to electrify the crowd. Frithwee, you're still not quite where you need to be, buddy. Can we get behind this guy, put him to sleep? I'm hoping yes. We'll see, though. All right. Who are you going to shoot at? You're not even sure. Fireball coming in. You are very vulnerable to fire at this point. I just feel like through strike just feels right. Bloop! The Legion, the Legionnaire is such a cool... Oh, I love it so much. Kudos again, developer. I mean, the, the very limited movement that I can do and whatnot, it kind of sucks. Like, I don't, I don't love that part of it, but literally everything else about it is just fantastic, and I love it, all of it. It's so good. Are we coming for you? We coming for you. Hey, what you doing over here? Uh, side attack. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Aw, that was, that was cute. You tried to hit me and, well... 
I think I can just hit you with a, a basic fire orb and that's gonna kind of just wreck you. Yep, it's gonna do that and we done. And I am going to try to slap you upside the face because it's funny. Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping. Well, I'm going to auto-meditate right in front of you. All right, now you're going to go nighty-night. Oh, it's going down to Chinatown. Here it comes. A big old sleepy stab, followed by the most murderous murder of all murder. Ooh, it's a lot of murder. And here's some fire to put you down. And we said good day, sirs. That was great. I enjoyed that immensely. Yeah, look at that. Look at that earth armor cape. Oh, look at Gwen and Dura. They're so cool. They're so cool looking. Ah, this game's great. So yeah, there's gonna be plenty more of this. Plenty more of just everything, guys and gals. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling. Feeling good, I really am. It's 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 a good it's a good feeling to have. Anyway, folks, that's it for now. In the next episode, play around. We'll go to some of the other spots here and try to figure out what we can get for it, as far as like uh, different pieces of equipment, armor. Maybe we'll get in another one or two random fights, and then we'll head on toward one of the red locations and see where that takes us. I don't know for sure. We'll find out. Either way, stick around the channel. There'll be plenty more to come. Till the very next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.